like destruction. This is sure, like pure and true destruction on just one city, like literally just Griffin. Tonight, many people in Griffin and Spalding County are taking a rest from their first day of cleanup after some devastating storms roared through the area. Severe weather pummeled central Georgia and surrounding spots for several hours Thursday. One area, Griffin, saw some of the worst of it. The National Weather Service confirmed an EF3 tornado ripped through the town. Anthony Montalto shows us one street where folks are just starting to pick up the pieces. The door you're looking at right now is actually where one Griffin man rode out the storms that came through this week. He told me he looked on the street, saw a tornado coming at him, immediately ran back inside. But before he knew it, the massive tree you see behind me was down in his front yard. Two feet back, it'll come down on me. Now I got reflexes like a cat, but I don't know if I would have moved out of the way or that. Joe Taylor's home of 18 years now shrouded in branches. The only part was hurt was just the, the front part. Now everything else inside is intact. Farther down 14th Street, not everyone fared as well. If we had to touch down, it would have been a clean sweep, because I've seen clean sweep. But the most important thing, Taylor says nobody in his neighborhood got hurt. And thank God that nobody was killed. Across the street, Joshua Irvin stopped by to check in on his uncle. Irvin rode out the storm with a neighbor. A tree fell in the backyard, landing just 10 feet from the house. His uncle had a much closer call. You might say luck runs in the family. I got about 10 feet. He got about two inches. But you won't hear Irvin and Taylor say luck. They have a different word. That wasn't luck. That was a blessing. I'm going to be honest with you. We, we are incredibly blessed to have survived this. Luck, blessing, whatever you call it. Taylor says he doesn't know how everyone walked out OK, but he does have a theory. Thank God I'm OK. That's it. I'm not worried about materialistic stuff. I live by faith and not by sight. And I'm just going to be here. I thank God for I'm here. And he took care of me through this. While they made it through the storm, the recovery is just beginning, and Taylor plans to follow his faith until 14th Street makes its comeback. In Griffin, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Hey, Mr. Taylor says he's still living in his home. He just has to use the back door for now. Meanwhile, Irvin will head back to his apartment and rest before helping remove the tree from his uncle's yard.